So, Gavin, what did Leo Varadkar have to say? Well, Leo Varanker has been under a lot of pressure on this issue, Colette, particularly since a memo was published yesterday morning uh, by the Irish Daily Mail. That was a memo that was published or compiled by the Department of Health in May 2016, literally the day before Leo Varadkar moved on from his role as Minister for Health. And it says that the strategy of settling legal cases for between 40 and 60 percent of the amount being sought uh, was something which had been signed off by the Attorney General's office and by the Minister. And that would appear to have implicated Leo Varadkar because he was the Minister at the time of it. A spokesperson last Last night said that Leo Varadkar had been assured he was not the minister being referred to, but he wasn't able to say exactly who was. But Leo Varadkar in the doll in the last few minutes appears to identify, albeit indirectly, the person who was responsible for signing off on this legal strategy. Obviously I stand over what I said yesterday in relation to uh, me being briefed and I'm still trying to get the documents around that. Uh, what I can say is that a document that appeared in the papers yesterday in relation to 2016, uh, we have confirmed from the Department of Health that I was not circulated on that document and the agreement between the Minister and the AGO was not, I was not the Minister that made that agreement, it was uh, a 2014 agreement. Now, those final words are the important ones. These are, this was a 2014 agreement. There were only two people who held the role of Minister for Health in that year. Leo Varadkar was one of them. He took the job in July of that year after a cabinet reshuffle. The other person who held that title for the role of year of 2014 was James Riley. He was the Minister for Health from the time of the government being appointed in March 2011 until July of 2014 when he was moved to the Department of Children and Youth Affairs. Now, James Riley had been in opposition, a vocal spokesperson against this whole question mark of people being unfairly charged for playing in nursing homes that perhaps ought to have been covered by the public purse. And he was also named as one of the recipients of a memo in 2011, in fact, possibly one of the authors or contributors to a memo in 2011, uh, outlining for the benefit of other ministers, including uh, Enda Kenny and Eamon Gilmore, exactly what was being proposed by way of this legal strategy. So Leo Varadkar appearing to confirm inside the doll in the last few minutes that it was the former minister, James Riley, who was responsible for this legal strategy, albeit a strategy, Leo Varadkar says, was still a sound one because the state has still never conceded the point that people in private nursing homes should have their fees paid out of the public purse.